Hello, everyone. It is Leah from Dime Culture. It's June. Do you know what that means? It means the moment I've been promising for the last few weeks has arrived. And I'm sure you're wondering, okay, yeah, you've been promising something's been coming, but you haven't exactly told us what it is, what this means for us, how does this even help us? And let me get into that. But first, let me ask you, when you are setting aside your me time, you know that that moment, though, maybe that it's 30 minutes, an hour, where you're going to actually sit down dedicate time to creating something so that you yourself are, you know, turning off your mind. You're using your art as a form of meditation, you know, where you're just focusing on one thing and you're stopping the endless cycle of either worrying about something, uh, letting stress in, you're, you want to sit down and help alleviate some anxiety that you've been feeling But you sit down, you have your supplies in front of you, and you have no idea what to do. Have you had those moments when you sit down and you're like, uh, what should I draw? What should I paint? What should I be practicing and working on? And does it lead you to going to Instagram or Pinterest and scrolling? Do you scroll for like that entire time where you're just like you get sucked into the scroll and you're just looking because you're hoping you're going to go on there and find something that inspires you to create or motivate you to going, yeah, I think I'm going to draw that. That's what I'm going to pull my inspiration from today when I'm doing this this, this activity of mine. But it doesn't actually lead to you drawing or painting or doing anything. Instead, you get sucked into that scrolling little I it's it's like a a black hole you know you get sucked into it and you're just scrolling and scrolling and liking and scrolling and liking and repinning and it can actually lead to you doubting your own abilities or doubting whether or not you should be doing what you're doing really I think it for me personally it's more like an act of avoidance you know I know I want to sit down I know I want to Just clear my mind, focus on one thing to turn it all off, but I'm avoiding that act, which is really weird because I'm doing this for my own health, for my own mental health, right? I'm doing it so that I can feel better, so that I can be recharged and be ready to deal with the next thing to come, but I'm avoiding it. This is what I'm going to help you guys with. So this is what I'm really excited about and I really hope that you find it exciting as well. So if you do, just know that all the links that you're going to need are in the description section below. Because what is happening as of today, if you are a subscriber to me at Dime Culture via my mailing list, you will receive every month a free template or e-booklet or you know an activity basically I'm going to be giving you something that you can use during that time because here on okay so here on YouTube I talk about and we have this new series where we're art journaling and we're working through activities to do in our art journal but there are times when you don't want to work in your art journal you don't want to be expressing your emotions you want to actually just sometimes turn your mind off and I've said that several times already but really honestly the act of just meditating getting that meditative like mind through creating it's so healing it's I know there's a lot of people that do yoga they meditate they clear their mind but you can do the same thing while creating art Because you're focusing on doing one thing and you're letting go of everything else that's in your mind or around you. So that's what these activities are for. And this month is this bunny painting that you're seeing unfold right now in front of you. And then next month it's going to be something else. And every month there's going to be something new for you. 
and it'll always be posted at the beginning of the month. So that first week, that first Thursday of the month which means not only will you have the activity um, materials in your email, but also here on YouTube, I will post a video showing that material being used, like this template here. I'm showing you how I chose to paint it during my time. But maybe instead of it being a art template it might actually be a learning booklet so I'll show you how you can go through the booklet and learn from it and use it as during that time so everything that you will be receiving will help you that is the goal that is what I'm hoping you get from it in the end is something that'll stop you from going to your phone scrolling through and actually get you to create something. With these templates, I want to make it very clear. I want you to express you. So I'm giving you an outline. I'm going to use this bunny as an example. Just because I'm painting it in a uh, muted, more realistic color toning way in an illustrative manner, doesn't mean that you have to do the exact same painting as me. If you have favorite colors and your favorite colors are neon, pink, and green, use those colors. Uh, if you want to paint along with me, that's great. You can. This video is definitely here for you to use it as a step-by-step -step so that you too can create your own painting. But honestly, I want you to be you. I want you to use this template as a starting point. I don't go into super great details because I know that in order for you to feel free enough to create, you need to have a baseline, but not a detail to the minute line sketch of what you should be doing. It's all about expression. If you want this bunny to be all black and have no leaves because you want to get rid of the leaves, that's okay. Uh, actually, what I'm going to be doing, and this is a shameless plug for myself, is on Instagram, if you don't follow me already, definitely do so. It's at Dime Culture on Instagram. But what I'm going to be doing this month is I'm going to be painting this template a couple of times. So not just this once that you see in the video, but I'm going to show you different ways that I look at it and I go, you know what would be great? If it looked like this. I'm going to sit down with it a few times and actually use it more than once because creativity is endless. Ideas can just keep flowing and I don't want you to feel like you're limited to just having it look one way. And that is why uh, if you wanted to, you could definitely follow me and then see that process. But uh, what I would love to see is for you guys to take me in your posts. So if you're going to share this online and share your activity time, which you don't have to, like no pressure, you do not have to share this process. But if you do feel like sharing it and you want to, take me in it. I would love to see how you are using this template with your own creative twist. Now let's discuss something that I think is very important for us to bring up and talk about because of the subject of this video, which is becoming a member of a mailing list and receiving emails. And that is how frequently will you actually receive emails from me? Am I, do you, am I the type of person to send them every flipping day and annoy you and bring down your emotional state every morning by having these annoying emails pop up all the time? Uh, the answer to that is no. I'm not one of those people. Okay, Dime Culture is all about helping you and, you know, dealing with those emotional lows and celebrating the emotional highs and providing motivation and really getting you to be creative during this process. So I am most definitely not going to be sending you emails every day just bogging you down. You're going to only receive emails when it's something important like the templates or when a new video is going up or a nice every once in a while reminder, you know, a motivational uplifting reminder that you may not know you need, but that day you're going to get one. You know, it's not something that's going to happen all the time. And I'm very proud in saying that I'm going to 
honor that. You know, I'm not going to all of a sudden during the holiday season start bombarding you with emails every day. That will never happen. Um, sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm laughing right now because there's a bird outside the window chirping and my next door neighbor appears to be hammering something and I'm really hoping that's not being picked up right now with my voiceover because <laughs> that would be awkward. Or maybe it's now just awkward because I mentioned it and you can't hear it. <laughs> Either way, that's life. Things happen. There are sounds in the world. Um, But yeah, I just wanted to say that before the video ends. You know, I really hope you do like this opportunity that I am providing you guys with and the materials that you have the option of using. Alrighty, so it is the end of the video and I want to say thank you, 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 thank you so much for watching this video. If you are going to hit that subscribe button for YouTube, definitely hit it because there's so many good videos that come out every other Thursday. And if you were interested in everything I was discussing today, getting provided with templates every month, definitely definitely, definitely, definitely follow that link provided in the description section below and you will receive your own bunny template once you do. If you are from the future watching this video, you will receive this month's template if you are subscribing. All right, until next time everyone, stay magical.